everyone, this is Maki. A popularity poll for G Gundam was held in Japan. Today, I'd like to casually discuss the results and enjoy some light conversation. Let's take a look at the amazing scenes where each character's charm really shines through. Are you ready? Gano fight! Ready! Go! This ranking was conducted by the media outlet Denge Key Online. The characters ranked up to 11th place were announced. On the 11th place is Sai Sai Shi. This result is quite surprising. Just recently, the gun pro of his Dragon Gunnam was announced. The Dragon Gunnam has gained tremendous popularity and has greatly influenced the Gunnams that appear in later series. G Gunnam has many other captivating characters, so it was a fierce competition. Sai Sai Shi and the Dragon Gunnam are among the few who defeated the God Finger. The special move of the burning Gunnam. The serious expression on Sai Sai Shi's face during his match with Domin left a completely different impression on viewers compared to his usual self. He's a character that has both comedic and cool aspects, which makes him very appealing. Intense praise is Argo Galvezi. He is the Gunnam fighter of Mi Russia and Pilot, the bold Gunnam. The teamwork between Nago, who is also a prisoner, and his supervisor Nastasha is impressive. At the end of the story, Nastasha says I might become a space pirate, too. Let's look at Argo's chief in the final scene. It seems that Nastasha is about to change her career to become a reliable space pirate. In ninth place is George Descent, the Gunnam fighter representing Neo France. He is a knight known for his graceful demeanor and elegant speech. However, when it comes to rescuing the princess to whom he has sworn allegiance or saving his comrades from danger, he shows a rough and powerful side. The scenes in the opening animation, where his face is scraped against the beam wall, are also amusing. In its place is Chibodi Crockett, the Gunnam fighter representing Neo America. He is a cheerful boxing champion. Although he usually acts with a lot of confidence, he has a weakness of fear of clowns which stems from an accident in his childhood. The scene in which he refers to his companions as the poor moms because he was separated from his mother by the accident emphasizes the contrast between his childlike nature and the pride of a champion, making him even more appealing. In seventh place is Kiro Mekiro. This is a rather surprising result since the boarding was online, perhaps the deep dive fans were particularly active. Compared to the Shuffle Alliance, Kiro is more of a supporting character with few appearances. Early on, he attacks Domin in an attempt to assassinate him. However, after going through the story with Domin and the others, he rises up to defend Earth. He forms the Gunnam Fighter Federation, an organization that cooperates across races and nationalities and comes to the aid of Domin and his friends in their time of need. The mammoth-shaped Gunnam that appears in Kiel's flashback is also a frequent topic of discussion among fans. How does one control this thing? In six phrases, Kyoji cast Shu, Domen's older brother and the pilot of the Darganam. However, as the story progresses and the truth is revealed, it becomes clear that he is actually a victim, having been absorbed by the rampaging Darganam. The scene where the Darganam is destroyed by Domen's Sei Kihoten Kyoken is particularly memorable. 
Despite being unconscious, QG raises his head and thanks Domen. The reflection in the burning Ganon's eyes, making it look like it's shedding tears, is a brilliant touch. In fifth place is Rei Mikamura, the main heroine of the story. The moment when she and Domen perform the Sei Kiha Love Love Ten Kyoken together is truly unforgettable. The scene where she pilots the rising Ganon and defeats the water Ganon is also very impressive. Although she is not a Ganon fighter, she has extensive knowledge to assist the martial arts experts. In the new story Tenchi Tengoku, Rain's analysis reveals the weakness of the enemy that called Kyuhai. In fourth place is Alan B. Beardsley. She has feelings for Domen and becomes Rain's rival, in love. Her appearance as a fairy-like figure in the opening animation is quite striking. The design of the Nobel Gundam she pilot surprised many Gundam fans seeing the Gundam Natui from the later Gundam Double series. Many fans might have been reminded of the Nobel Gundam. Interestingly, in the comic version, there is an upgraded form of the Nobel Gundam called the Super Nobel Gundam, although it's more of a fun saga feature without detailed settings. There's a hint that it might be a prototype Gundam for the 14th Gundam fight. In third place is Schwartz Bruder, the traditional masked character of the Gundam series. He is a ninja Gundam fighter. In the Gundam fight finals, he won all of his matches until he faced Domen. He is a highly skilled fighter who has defeated all other members of the Shuffle Alliance except Domen. Schwartz was created by Kyoji using the body of Neo Germanis Schwartz, who died in battle against the Dark Gundam. Kyoji is deeply remorseful for taking Schwartz's life and using his body. Because of this, he is determined to fight with all his might as new Germany's gun and fighter. In second place is Domin Cash Shu, the protagonist of the G Gunnam story. He is a character whose strong heart and determination to go on despite being wounded and suffering make him incredibly appealing. His final battle with Master Asia is, in my opinion, one of the coolest moments in the entire Gundam series. In first place is Master Asia, he surpassed the protagonist to take the top spot. Even Yasuhiro Imagawa, the director of G Gundam, said the story really picked up when Master Asia appeared, and it also led to great commercial success for G Gundam. As I mentioned earlier, his showdown with Domen is a legendary scene. Although he lost the battle, Master Asia remained a formidable challenge to the end, watching over the growth of his pupil. At the moment of his defeat, the Emperor of the King of Hearts shone on Master Asia's hand. The Emperor that should have been given to Domen shone once again in Master Asia's hand. He is a compelling character who, despite his mistakes, truly loved the Earth more than anyone. Do you have a favorite scene? If so, please share it in the comments. Thanks for watching to the end. I'll see you in the next episode.